Hello, welcome to Bragway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notification so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Samuel Do. Samuel Do came to spotlight in 1980 as a military leader. He staged a coup d'etat in 1980, killing the then president William R. Tobet and took over powers from the True Whig Party, becoming the facto head of state. The coup took the lives of so many other politicians, though at some point served as the chairman of the People's Redemption Council (PRC), and later he handed over to himself as a democratic president after winning the 1985 elections. His reign came to an end when he was murdered by Chastelot's ally, Prince Johnson. Samuel Keyondo was born in a small town, Tuzon, in Grand Gadi County, in the southeastern part of Liberia on May 6, 1951. Do was from the Kran tribe and his parents were uneducated and poor. After his elementary education, he started Baptist Junior High School in Zwedru, but he couldn't finish. He joined the army two years later, perhaps to make ends meet and further his education. He had joined the army with the hope of obtaining a scholarship to high school in Kakata, but things didn't go as he wished and he was assigned to military duties instead of being given scholarship. Doe finally completed high school by correspondence and shortly after, he was promoted to the cadet of Master Sergeant on October 11, 1979. He was made the administrator for the 3rd Battalion in Moronvia for 11 months. Samir Doe led a military coup on April 12, 1980, where William R. Torbett was killed. He carried out the coup by commanding a group of Kran soldiers. The coup was one of the most violent coups in the history of Liberia as 13 of Torbett's cabinet members were killed publicly 10 days after the death of Torbett and his men killed another 26 of Torbett's supporters and arrested about 50 members of the Progressive People's Party, the opposition. When Doe took over, he ordered the release of the 50 people and arrested 91 officials of Torbett's regime on the charges of treason, corruption and violation of human rights. He suspended the constitution, so their trials were done by a commission created by those military government and they were refused legal representation. Those government brought to an end the 133 years of American Liberian domination and the native Liberians were happy owing to the fact that they were largely isolated. It was obvious that Doe and his men were ill prepared to rule and their lapses were laid open by their inexperience. Having suspended the constitution, he assured the people that democratic government will return in 1985. He called himself Dr. Doe after being given honorary title from the University of Seoul and later in 1989, he said he had completed a degree from the University of Liberia. His alliance with the United States destroyed the relationship Liberia had with the Soviet Union. The new constitution by Doe, who was the elected president in the Interim National Assembly, made provisions for a multi-party republic. The draft of this constitution was issued in 1983 and was approved by referendum in 1984. The election he did was not free and fair according to the foreign observers who referred to it as fraudulent. They said that the runner-up of the election, the candidate of the Liberia Action Party, Jackson Doe, was the actual winner. Before the elections, Doe was alleged to have about 50 persons against his political ambitions murdered. Elections were held on October 5, 1985. Doe was declared winner and sworn in on January 6, 1986. Samir Doe's government became more harsh and corrupt after General Thomas Kuiwongpa, his ally during the coup in 1980, attempted a fake coup on November 12, 1985. Thomas Kuiwongpa died during the fight in Moronvia. It was after this failed coup that Doe, becoming unsafe, started closing down media houses and political activities. He was alleged of bias in dealing with certain ethnic groups, which brought crises among the natives. Doe was captured on September 9, 1990 by Prince White Johnson, a leader of Independent National Patriotic Front of Liberia IMPFL, who broke away from Taylor's group. Before being killed, Johnson and his men tortured Doe, parading him around the streets of Moronvia naked. His ear was cut off first and toes before his body was cut into pieces. Doe was a Baptist and was married to Nancy Doe. They had five children, Celio, Samuel, Veronica, Vani, and Kathy. What's your take on Doe as a Liberian politician? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.